The send-off of NASA's Explorer tests was like the beginning of an astounding outing into space. It demonstrated the way that we can keep an eye on Earth as well as everything in our planetary group and beyond. Even following 46 years, these wonderful rockets are still providing researchers new and staggering data about space. Despite their memory being 3 million times smaller than that of our cell phones and their speed being multiple times slower than our quickest 5G web connection, these mind-boggling tests still lead the way in exploring space. Now, Explorer 1 has simply made an unimaginable discovery in interstellar space, one that challenges all that we assumed we knew about the universe. It found something so rare that researchers are left scratching their heads. But what exactly did it find, and how can it redefine our understanding of the universe? Let's find out. On an extraordinary day, September 5, 1977, from a spot called Cape Canaveral in Florida, something astonishing occurred. Explorer 1 began its journey into space, set off by a solid rocket called Titan Centaur. Only 15 days later, on August 20, 1977, Explorer 2 joined in, beginning its own journey into the universe. Their primary work was to examine the huge gas planets in our nearby planet group, like Jupiter and Saturn, and the moons around them. However, they went far beyond, they went way out into our astronomical region, breaking records on their incredibly lengthy journey. They've been going longer than any other space apparatus ever and have gone farther from Earth than anything humans have made before. They even went into a place called interstellar space, which is like going into a totally different part of our world that nobody explored before. These space trailblazers, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, are in excess of 12 billion miles from us now. Still, they continue to amaze researchers with the astounding things they're discovering out there. They've recently found something so unexpected that no one saw it coming. The Explorer twin tests have done some amazing stuff over a long time. Back, they checked out the moons of Jupiter and Saturn and completely astonished researchers. People used to think these moons were boring and filled with holes like our moon, but not anymore. They're buzzing with activity. Explorer 2 was the first of the twins to drop by Uranus in 1986, and just three years later, it zoomed past Neptune. But here's what's interesting, it's the only spacecraft that has ever done that. As these space apparatus forge ahead with their amazing journey, NASA is doing a few tricks to ensure they continue to work. They turned off certain things they didn't need, like extra parts and heaters, to save power. That way, these rockets can keep going strong until something like 2030. For the scientists and engineers who've been part of this incredible journey from the beginning, it's a mix of happy and sad feelings. They worked hard, and now when they thought the Explorer missions were nearly done, an amazing discovery emerged from out of space. The information sent back by Explorer 1 and its twin shuttle has turned into a mother load for researchers. They started lots of discoveries and got people excited about space. These are two rockets that were built extra carefully, like stable stages, so they could take clear pictures and gather data while zooming through space. Even before they reached the outer planets, their photos were already blowing scientists' minds. Explorer 1 started sending pictures of Jupiter, even though it was still far away from the planet. People at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab got excited when they saw the first pictures of Jupiter's swirling clouds and the famous Great Red Spot. But the pivotal moment came when the explorers found something amazing on Jupiter's moon Io. This moon, slightly bigger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most active volcano in our entire nearby planet group. Explorer 1's tools picked up strange signals from Io, and the pictures they took showed massive volcanic eruptions and stuff flying out into space. One of Io's volcanoes called Pele erupted enormously high, even more than Mount Everest, and covered an area almost as large as France. The explorers combined took more than 33,000 pictures of Jupiter and its moons. They showed how stunning Jupiter is and all the different scenes on its moons. And before this new and truly surprising discovery, these twin space apparatus have been finding amazing things since they began their journey. Another big surprise was discovering Jupiter has rings, even though they're not very bright. This discovery made Jupiter even more interesting. Also, Explorer 2 found that Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 moons, has a thick icy shell more than 60 miles thick. 
These discoveries made scientists rethink their assumptions about these faraway objects in space and got them curious about whether icy moons like Europa could be places where life could exist. As the explorers left Jupiter, they got a boost from the planet's gravity that behaved like a strong kick, sending them towards Saturn. This kick was extremely significant because it helped them break free from the sun's pull and continue onward into space. Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 went their ways after that, heading to new places. Explorer 1 got close to Saturn's moon Titan, which has a kind of orange, cloudy atmosphere around it. Scientists became curious about Titan's secrets, so they focused on its complicated chemistry. Then Explorer 1 moved away from other planets and started going beyond our planetary group. On the other hand, Explorer 2 had some amazing adventures too. In 1986, it flew by Uranus and found 10 new moons, adding to the total count. Three years later, it reached Neptune, showing us the astonishing things about this faraway ice giant. Explorer 2 even measured winds on Neptune going as fast as 1,000 miles per hour, the fastest ever on a planet in our planetary group. When the spacecraft got close to Neptune, only 2,980 miles away, it gave us new and stunning insights about this distant world. Neptune's biggest moon Triton turned out to be one of the coldest places in our nearby planet group, with temperatures dropping to a freezing minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton also had these cool ice volcanoes that shot out nitrogen gas and icy stuff into its thin atmosphere. All these discoveries made us realize how different and interesting the planets and moons in our solar system can be, even the farthest ones. Imagine a space adventure story, and one person who had a big impact in moving it along was the famous astronomer Carl Sagan. He was part of the team that took pictures for the Explorer mission, and he wanted to snap one last set of pictures before switching off the cameras. These photos would be like a special gift for everybody on Earth, a last glimpse at our home from far out in space. Sagan didn't give up, and it paid off. On Valentine's Day in 1990, Explorer 1 turned its camera back towards the interplanetary group and took 60 pictures. The most famous one is known as the Pale Blue Dot. It was taken from 3.8 billion miles away, making it the farthest picture of all time taken of our planet. In the photograph, Earth looks small, like a pale blue spot in the vast space around it. Even after 40 years, these space apparatus are still out there, sending us valuable information from the farthest parts of space. Now let's discuss something a bit old-fashioned, the Explorer tests used an old 8-track tape mechanism. Yes, you heard it right. 8-track tapes were nothing to joke about during the 70s, and these tests are still using them. It just shows how brilliant the people who planned this mission were, ensuring these old tapes could still do the work. But why 8-track tapes, you may be wondering. Well, that's a story worth hearing. You see, in the early days of exploring in space, the kind of digital storage we use today was just starting out. So, they needed something tough and reliable to store important data, and those 8-track tapes turned out to be the perfect choice. What's even more interesting is that the data on these tapes isn't just regular music. It's valuable science data about planets, moons, and space between the stars. Yes, these tapes hold the answers to some of the biggest secrets in the universe. Now think about this, the Explorer spacecraft faced crazy things like extreme hot and cold temperatures, space radiation, and the vacuum of space. But of course, these old pioneers keep pressing onward. It's like sending your grandparents on an adventure in Antarctica, and not only do they survive, but they thrive. The Explorer missions have this amazing move called gravity assist. Think about it like this, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, two space pioneers, were on a big mission to explore the far out in our planetary group. To reach these distant places and gather valuable information, they needed a little help beyond just their engines. Here's where gravity assists come in, and it's like a space dance. Instead of just using their engines, these space apparatus did this cool cosmic dance with some of the planetary system's large planets. They used the strong pull of these giants to slingshot themselves forward, saving fuel and getting the speed they needed to visit lots of different places. Gravity assist, also known as a gravitational slingshot, is about grabbing some speed from a planet as the space apparatus goes by. Imagine Explorer 1 moving up to Jupiter, a huge gas giant with a pull to match its size. 
The smart minds at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory made sure Explorer 1 twirled past Jupiter at the right angle and speed. Jupiter's gravity pulled at the spacecraft, making it go faster, like a space power-up. But here's the tricky part, there's an art to this move of gravity assist. If Explorer 1 had approached Jupiter the wrong way, it might have been pulled into the planet's atmosphere and burned up. But because the engineers at NASA were so clever, Explorer 1 flew close enough to get a speed boost safely. And this wasn't just a one-time trick, it happened many times with different planets. Each time, the spacecraft used gravity to get a new speed boost and to change directions. Explorer 1 moved far away from the sun and deeper into space, the gravity assist move was a game changer, helping Explorer 1 break free from the limits of space travel during the 1970s. Even now, these rockets, working with tech from back then, are still providing us valuable data. This isn't just a matter of amusement for space lovers, it demonstrates how smart thinking can overcome the challenges of space exploration. Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 use these gravity assists to explore the farthest parts of our planetary group. They took pictures of strange moons, found out amazing things about distant planets, and sent back data that challenged what we knew about space. This is more than just space travel, it's a story of human curiosity, the will to explore, and how far we can go with clever ideas and smart technology. This leads us to their latest and amazing discovery, Explorer 1, our legendary space voyager, has recently been exploring a truly strange and new area called interstellar space. And guess what? It made a super strange discovery. Explorer 1's instruments detected a strange type of murmur or buzz in the data coming from the space between the stars. Researchers were astonished because they thought interstellar space would be quiet and empty. But this murmur suggests there's something else going on. They think it might come from plasma waves or charged particles traveling through space. This discovery changes what we understand about the space between stars and raises new questions about the mysteries of the universe. This vast murmur is truly eerie. This incredible discovery was captured by Explorer 1's plasma wave instrument and recorded as a very quiet, steady sound. This noise is different from the usual louder bursts of activity that the spacecraft usually hears, and it has researchers scratching their heads and trying to figure out what's causing it. They think it could be from low-level vibrations from the plasma, the ionized gas in the space between stars, but they're still not sure. The fact that Explorer 1, working with 70s technology, can detect something like this so far from Earth is amazing. This discovery means we need to rethink what we know about interstellar space. It shows that even in the farthest reaches of the universe, there's still a lot of mystery and unknown things waiting to be discovered. The cosmic hum is just one of many discoveries that Explorer 1 has made on its incredible journey. It's a reminder that even after 40 years, these spacecraft are still teaching us new things about the universe. And it also shows how amazing human curiosity and technology can be as we continue to explore space and learn about the universe. Who knows what other incredible discoveries await us. Explorer 1's new discovery of the cosmic hum in interstellar space is a testament to the incredible journey of these spacecraft. It shows how far we've come and how much there is still to discover. It's a reminder of the endless curiosity and determination that drives us to explore the unknown, and it's a sign that even in the farthest reaches of space, there are still mysteries waiting to be uncovered. The Explorer missions have been a tremendous success, and their legacy will continue to inspire us as we venture further into the universe. In the infinity of interstellar space, as Voyager 1 travels further into the unknown, it continues to be a beacon of human curiosity and creativity. The cosmic hum it has detected is more than just a sound, it's a signal that even in the quietest, most remote parts of the universe, there is still so much we don't know. This discovery challenges our understanding and reminds us that the universe is full of surprises. Explorer 1 and its twin spacecraft have paved the way for future exploration, showing us that with persistence and innovation, we can reach farther than we ever imagined. As we continue to uncover the secrets of the universe, we are reminded of the incredible journey that began over 40 years ago with the launch of the Explorer missions. Their legacy lives on, inspiring us to keep exploring, keep learning, and keep striving to achieve the impossible. In conclusion, the Explorer missions, spearheaded by spacecraft like Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, stand as testament to human ingenuity, curiosity, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. 
Over four decades since their launch, these pioneering missions have not only expanded our understanding of our own solar system but have also ventured into the uncharted realms of interstellar space, uncovering mysteries that challenge our perceptions of the universe. From their humble beginnings with technology of the 1970s to their current feats in the depths of space, these spacecraft have continuously surprised us with their resilience and their ability to make groundbreaking discoveries. The recent detection of the cosmic hum in interstellar space by Explorer 1 is just one example of how these missions continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge. As we reflect on their achievements, we are reminded of the importance of exploration and discovery. The Explorer missions inspire us to embrace the unknown, to question the limits of our understanding, and to strive for new horizons. They remind us that the universe is vast, filled with wonders waiting to be uncovered, and that our journey of exploration is far from over. Looking forward, the legacy of the Explorer missions will continue to guide and inspire future generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers. They serve as a beacon of what is possible when human curiosity meets technological innovation. As we continue to explore and learn about the cosmos, we honor the spirit of exploration that drives us to seek answers to the fundamental questions of existence. In essence, the Explorer missions remind us that in the endless expanse of space, there is always more to discover, more to learn, and more to marvel at. They teach us that the pursuit of knowledge knows no bounds and that through exploration, we gain not only scientific insights but also a deeper understanding of our place in the universe.